What's up, y'all? We are back helping the small business world become more data-driven, one video, one dashboard at a time. As always, I am Jack Tompkins with Pineapple Consulting Firm, and we are doing just that, offering tools, tips, and tricks on helping your small business become more data-driven. Today, you've got a new product offering out there for the architects of the world. If you're thinking in angles and numbers, we got some data and visuals just for you. There is so much data in this industry and it is so difficult to track because there's so many moving parts, right? We are out there trying to help you become more efficient, make your life easier, and of course, become more data driven in your business. What we found so far working with these architects is that it really comes down to how much time are you spending on each individual project. Tracking that is an absolute bear, it seems, unless you've got some automation, some good visuals like a dashboard working for you. So we did exactly that. We made a product. It is out there on the market today. You can head to our website uh, that is linked below, but we're going to tell you all about it in this video. So we'll start off with a testimonial. Uh, one client says, I can quickly give a prospect an accurate estimate and no longer Am I losing money because of underestimations? That's huge. We're gonna get into how that works later. She continued to say, uh, I can also easily see when projects are getting close to budget, so I can notify a client and address the impacts of scope changes accurately. And I gotta tell you, since she and I have been working together, she has not gone over budget with a project. Y'all know how big that is. So we've got all sorts of financial and operational metrics like revenue, hours worked versus hours budgeted, effective hourly rates, everything you need in one simple view. And going from that overall sense of business is going well to knowing exactly how business is going and exactly how each project is going, it makes a world of difference. As always in a lot of our videos, you can do this on your own. You need a little bit of automation, you need a little bit of manual data too. And it is doable with some tools and tricks. Um, we've got a couple linked uh, below as well, as along with a course on how to build a dashboard. But we have to do this for a living, and we've got a team of developers that help make this accurate, secure, safe, uh, automated, all that good stuff. So let's dive into what it looks like. Okay, so we're jumping right into the project status dashboard. So this is the overview of what's going on at a project level in your business. And I promise you this stuff is important as you well know. So we've got all the projects listed here, the all important revenue associated with each of those projects. Um, that's what's collected versus what's projected out here. And now this one, the percent to budget, we got a whole bunch of stuff in here. Obviously, if you're in, if you're in this 90% to budget, you got to have that conversation with the client and you can address scope changes you can give accurate estimates based on that. And we'll get, a, get into how each of these initial uh, estimates can be made as well. But also, if you're having this conversation saying, hey, we're, we're you know, we're coming up on the budget. You don't want to go over budget, of course, but also it improves the client relationship because if you do go over budget, then you got to have the awkward conversation of, hey, you know, we weren't tracking this like we should have been, but we're over budget. Do you want to pay more? And it's a tough conversation. Nobody wants to have it. So it is difficult to go over budget when you've got this staring at you every time you open the dashboard. So that's the current state of the projects. Let's get into the current state of the financials. So just some breakdowns, a little bit different than your normal profit and loss statement. Breaks it down into terms that you want to see, like project class, what kind of projects are we working with, which ones are most profitable, and then how is our revenue breaking down? Most importantly, arguably, this bottom line or effective hourly rate. So this is we're paying out Everything that we've got over here, expenses, costs, goods sold, owners draw, all that good stuff. On an hourly basis, this is how much it costs. So if you're charging more than that and getting more than that, you're in the clear. If not, we need to raise some rates or change in project scopes. Now we get into the estimation phase. This is where the money is. So if you've got a new project that is in one of these four different categories, and of course this is fake data, and of course, again, this is customizable based on what you do in your firm. But if you've got a residential new construction going on here, 
and you could say, all right, well, on average, it's 79 hours, but I really think it's going to be more like the, the Hanson and the Matthews home. So let's maybe call it safely 40 to 50 hours, right? Something along that, you know, your business better than we do. But the point is all the data is right here for you. So now we've got the current state of the projects, we've got the current state of the financials, we've got a good system for estimating future projects. And now we've got, all right, here's projects that we have ongoing looking into the future. Luckily, we've got no projects over budget right now. We've got 700, almost 800 hours of estimated work remaining. One, we know that estimation is fairly accurate. And that's telling us we're booked out for the next four-ish months, which is pretty cool. You can see, all right, we know each of these folks is working however many hours, billable hours on a weekly basis. And you can project forward, okay, we are good for the next four months. So let's start pipelining for five months in the future, right? So this is your all-inclusive dashboard from current state to future state to hopeful new clients. So there we go. And if you don't mind, I'm squeezing one more testimonial at the end here because it is truly what gets us going and why we do this. Uh, we've got, I have never had this level of insight into my current project. I could never track everything this easily. I promise that is completely true when everything is right there and a lot of it's automated. It's maybe a little bit of work from you if you want to. It's that easy. And if you're tracking it manually right now, I guarantee this will save a bunch of time and improve your accuracy. If you're not tracking this right now, we got to get you a little bit more data driven and we are more than happy to help. Please feel free to reach out. We're not doing this to make billions of dollars. We are doing this to help small businesses just like you. And we love, love, love doing it. So thank you so much for watching and I look forward to hearing from you.